Welcome to the last video in the series, iPads in the Classroom. This video is going to be about the highest level of Bloom's taxonomy creating. Since Bloom's taxonomy is displayed in a pyramid, the creative process involves all of the other levels of thinking, including remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, and evaluating. In this level, students are creating a new product or point of view. Some of the key words for creating include designing, constructing, planning, producing, inverting, devising, and making. In terms of digital technology, creating may include animating, video casting, storytelling, mixing, podcasting, video editing, and many more. While there are many great apps that students can use for creating, I'm not going to categorize one for each subject area because these apps can be used for all subject areas. What's important to remember is when you are asking students to create, that doesn't just mean to make something. They need to take all that they know and build something new and express a new point of view. Students need to have the freedom to make choices and should be allowed to incorporate multiple apps to truly be creative. Here are some suggested project or lesson ideas for each subject area. For language arts, something you could do is have the students write an alternative ending to the story that you're reading in class and have them illustrate it by either making a poster, by making a video, by making a comic, or doing another creative activity. Another thing to do would be to rewrite the story that you've read in class, but tell it from a different character's perspective. This makes them look at the story in a different way and create something completely original from their own point of view. The students could create a movie about the story that they have written in class, or they could develop a new hero or villain for a story giving a detailed account of his or her growth in the chosen role. So those are all just suggested activities for reading and writing that students could be creative in. In math, you could have students take what they know about perimeter and area and create a floor plan for a new house and determine how much materials that they'll need for flooring. Another idea is to give them a price, let's say $50, to use at the grocery store and purchase food for a meal and make a video poster or story kind of explaining the process and how they arrived at their answer. Students could make a movie explaining a math concept. Whenever students teach other students, that's a great way of showing that they've mastered a concept. Another thing is to design a how-to book for multiplication, and these things can be shared with other students, shared with other schools, and could be great resources. In science, students can construct a scale model of the solar system using different pictures or items that they can look for and find on the internet, and then explain why and how it makes sense by making a video or a poster or another creative item. Students can also make a video about the water cycle using non-traditional examples. Students can design and conduct a scientific study about alternative fuel. In social studies, students can write and create an interview between George Washington and Barack Obama. They can create a visual, like a poster, video, or book explaining a new school-wide plan to reduce racism and they could create a map of a new town including all of the important elements needed to be successful. In all of these activities, students are taking all that they know and all that they've worked on to do almost like a final project where they're creating something that shows their understanding. Let's check out some apps that can be used for the creating level of Bloom's Taxonomy. The first creating app I'm going to show you is iMovie and I'm actually using it right now. I know it's a little pricey at $4.99 but it is well worth it. It's very easy to use and as you become more familiar with that you can add more to your movies including videos, pictures, text, music, and voice recordings. Once you're done you can publish to your camera roll or straight to YouTube. It can be used for all subject area creating projects. So this is iMovie and when you open it up you have two different options. You can make a new project or a new trailer. A new trailer is kind of like a template that they give you where you insert video and you insert text and some pictures and it does it for you. I'm going to give you an example.
So if I go to create it, it's going to give me the storyboard where it basically tells me to insert certain things. This definitely has the wow factor and students will be really impressed that they were able to do this and other people will be too. If you want to go original, you can do a new project and this is an example of something I started and I inserted a picture from the internet and some sound. I can play it. Welcome to my third grade classroom. We're going to be learning a lot this year. I can't wait for you to get here. And then if I wanted to maybe add another picture, I go straight to my camera roll and I can insert a new photo and I can move it from one place to the next and I can record more sounds and add video and overall it's just a really easy tool to work with once you get more familiar with it. The next creating app is called Comic Life and this app is also $4.99 but also well worth it. There is an option to use pre-made templates or a fresh comic poster and students can add text and photos. I think comics are different from your typical project and students are very receptive to making them. This is Comic Life and when you open up the app it brings you to comics that you have already done or already started working on and the option to create a new one. So if I go to create comic I can choose a blank comic or I can scroll through a bunch of different templates which some students need sometimes that vision to see you know where to start from and other students want a blank temp a blank start so if I choose this one you have the option of changing the text so you can type things out so I can say welcome to third grade and then you can go through and you can kind of edit the text, change it to different settings. You can add different photos from your camera roll. You can change the different style of the photo. And you can also add text. So there definitely are options. You can add different word bubbles. And you can change the text, make it bigger. Um, and I think that this Comic Life app is great because there are options. It's definitely differentiated. Certain students will take it to the next level and certain students will use kind of what they have. So it's user friendly for all different kinds of students. The next app is called Story Robe and it costs 99 cents. It is a very simple presentation video maker. I teach third grade and I think my students would have no problem using this. Students insert pictures and then video record their voice and it puts it all together into a presentation and it's really good for creating projects. So this is the Story Robe app and when you start you can open up a new project. I'm going to name mine third grade. and then you can add photos. You need to make sure that you allowed the app to access your camera roll in order to get the pictures that you've already saved. And then once it comes up you can go ahead and record your voice. So I'm going to say welcome to third grade. I think we're going to have a great year. And then it should pack, pop back up again. And then when you go through each photo that you have it'll have a it's almost like your storyboard right here. And then when you're done, you can play your whole presentation. I'm going to say, welcome to third grade. I think we're going to have a great year. So overall, this app is very simple for students to use because it's simply adding a picture, adding your voice recording, and it transitions for them. So I think it's a great tool for some younger learners to use. The last app I'm going to show you is called EduCreations. Many teachers use this in the flipped classroom model to show different concepts, um, but I think students can also use it. You can add photos, add text, and record your voice and screen while doing so, and it would be a great tool for students to use to show how to teach 
something. This is the Edu Creations app. It's the last creating app that I'm going to show you. And what I love about it is that it's very user friendly and the students can feel successful using it. You can change the background, you can add photos from your camera roll, you can change the size of them and move them around. And then you also have the option of adding text. You can change it bigger or smaller and change the font color. And you can also do this as you are recording it. So if you press record, it is now recording my voice. I'm going to add some text. And it kind of records everything that I do. I can draw on the page. So if you were teaching a math problem, students could able, would be able to show someone how to do something. There's also multiple pages. And then this can be published and saved to Edu Creations. It can be saved to the camera roll and it also can be um, put on YouTube. So this ends the video series, iPads in the Classroom. I want to wish you good luck in trying to incorporate these into your lessons and you will totally see results as you use them with your students and with yourself.